It looks like this will be a really long list, but trust me, this gives you a wide variety of selections. I'm going to list some perfumes you need to try. These will be celebrity perfumes that are under $50. And I will tell you why each one is a great buy. If you can, go ahead and try them. But without further ado, let's get down to the list. Not in any particular order. I'm going to list some perfumes from celebrities um, that you might recognize or may not recognize but that's not the point the point is look for the perfumes that i'm suggesting and they will be excellent choices some of these perfumes i've owned used and loved uh, many years ago and some recently and some i've gifted as you do because i always tend to give people things that i'm enjoying so if i'm really enjoying you know certain jewelry i gift jewelry <laughs> when i'm loving perfume i gift perfume because people who compliment something that i'm wearing whether it's a perfume or jewelry or clothing and i end up gifting them either the same thing or something similar to it it just makes it easy and it's great they can have their own beyonce heat i have owned and loved it is in an orange bottle. I'll try to put a picture up there somewhere. It is a floral scent, a fruity floral, and it is beautiful. It lasts and you know, it's perfect for summer or spring, but it's mainly a summer fragrance. So it's very vibrant and potent. So it's a great buy. All these perfumes, like I said, are below $50. Now, Beyonce also has other perfumes in that range, but Pulse is also a really great everyday scent. It's just a clean, floral, sweet perfume. It comes in like a glass with a silver lid. Interesting design. Yeah, it's just an, a great everyday, clean scent, signature scent type of perfume. So those are my two honorable mentions from beyonce perfumes so check them out if you've worn any of these fragrances before or tried them or you still use and love let me know in the comment section i would be so excited to hear that you can relate to what i'm saying and yes rihanna okay rihanna has a great selection of perfume my favorite is rebel fleur love always is a new one in the dark bottle but the original rubber fleur i've owned and loved and i've shown you guys that perfume many times but love always is the dark bottle flanker of this one i love love always it's a date night sexy perfume and this is more summer coconut joyful vibes love this in summer and during the day Love Always is great at night. So Crush by Rihanna is a fruity floral. It starts out really fresh, citrusy, and then it has this like peppery dry down. Well, that's like the middle notes. And then the dry down is more like a sweet floral, um, but the peppery is kind of there all the way to the end. So it's very interesting. It's a great signature scent. It's a great summer scent, daytime scent. Go and try it. Um, yeah, like I said, it's one of my favorites from her range. She also has Rogue, which is really great. But let me not overwhelm you. Um, the ones that I'm mentioning are the ones that I think are the first you should try and see how you feel, okay? Next scents are from JLo. I hope I remember all her wonderful perfumes. Okay, on the top of my head, Glow is really great it's a great everyday scent so it's like a citrus fruity scent with like a vanilla dry down it's really pretty i also love miami glow by jlo which i own and love it's a very great beach scent coconut goodness here it is <laughs> and i'm getting through the bottle you guys and i always say this but this gives me rihanna rubber fleur the perfume i just showed you vibes they have similar vibes but rebel fleur is more lighter and coconut this one is more dense it smells like the beach and that golden sand have you ever seen the golden sand rebel fleur gives me yellow sand on the beach you know what i mean so similar vibes but a little bit different you know that song that jlo sang jenny from the block 
I can't remember the title of the song. What she was wearing, very like crop top, low cut jeans. That's the glow type of vibe um, by JLo. So I cannot talk about celebrity perfumes and not mention Britney Spears. That would be a disgrace to perfume culture. That's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, Britney Spears has wide range of fantasy perfumes. The selection is called fantasy and she has a wide range of perfumes in that selection collection. So my favorite is the one that comes in the pink bottle. Um, love that. The one in the blue bottle. I've spoken about these in on this channel. I also recently purchased um, Electric by Britney Spears and it's kind of like a mixture of a bunch of her fantasy perfumes. It's very day and night, you know, um, all rounder type of scent. It can be a signature scent. It's, it has some citrus notes in there as compared to the one in the pink bottle. Um, and yeah, and I really like it. The honorable mention from Britney Spears perfumes is curious. Now that's a new one I have not mentioned on this channel, but I have sprayed, tried and loved. I'm yet to buy the bottle because I've had somebody close to me own it and it's kind of like their signature scent. So even if you're a person who wears really high end perfumes, you will still love Curious by Britney Spears. It's one that people can't tell is cheap. It's likable. You will get a lot of compliments for it. And it's not only suitable to one particular group of people or age group. It is great for teenagers and above, even 40, 50s, you still wear it. So it's really great. Love Britney Spears sense. Now moving on. Sofia Vergara is another celebrity who has, doesn't every celebrity have perfumes? But anyway, she has really popular perfumes, like two or three that are like favorites of everybody. Most people. When you're starting a perfume collection, Sofia Vergara is just there on the top of the list of perfumes to start with. There is the original, there is love. The original is an oriental floral. I'll put a picture up here. And then there's love, which is a gourmand floral, fruity floral gourmand. The last one I'm going to mention is Tempting Paradise. That's also really pretty. They're all 100 ml bottles and the packaging is really pretty as well. Um, can I say they're long lasting? No, they don't last as long as the Britney Spears or the Beyonce heat perfumes, but respraying is not a problem either. And they're great signature scents. They're great signature scents. They're very feminine and classy clean um with some warm base dry down as well so they're great i'm not a great fan of some of the names of these perfumes but i guess when you really think about it it's not that bad this perfume is by katy perry i haven't tried too many of katy perry scents but there's one in particular that i really liked it's called killer by Katy Perry. The bottle is giving sexy, grown, like Devil Wears Prada type of scent. It has bergamot, you know, likable ingredients. I really like the dry down. It's a deep scent. The dry down of Carolina Herrera, good girl, is similar to Killer by Katy Perry. It's definitely one to try. It's likable even for people with sensitive noses. Um, even though it's, you know, pretty berry and dark, it's still very, very doable, very likable. Next perfume is by Sarah Jessica Parker. Now, you know, she loves shoes. She loves fashion. So, of course, her fragrance is also going to be really great. Now, you guys know there's this one particular one that is super famous. It is called Lovely, okay? I have bought this perfume maybe twice in my younger, younger days. It's a nice citrusy, clean scent. The citruses, I think they're coming more from the bergamot and the nectarine. And then it has like this rosewood, vanilla, 
and lavender dry down it's pretty and clean and very simple scent it is a great signature scent and very very affordable i feel like it's less than ten dollars i said i wouldn't say the prices but everything i'm talking about is under fifty dollars it's a lovely pink little bottle and it looks great on the vanity you just look like a elegant clean lady you know that type of lady that likes white white everything now i'm going to bet a million dollars <laughs> that you have seen or heard this perfume almost everywhere you go this is white diamond elizabeth taylor has other perfumes that i may or may not mention just give me a minute to get it together but um white diamonds okay it is long lasting and i don't know how they do that so i have only owned this perfume once and i think i didn't even finish the bottle you know when you live with your parents and they tell you that there's no room there's no space there's no corner in their house they cannot go into and that includes your room you know so my mother i think i was away for some reason and she went in my room and so all of these perfumes and she thought to herself this girl does not need all these perfumes you know what she did she picked the ones she wanted and that was it so i come back i go in her room we know we're talking i'm looking at her dressing table i'm like wait a minute when did you buy this no that's me that's mine so this is one of those perfumes that my mom ended up taking and keeping white diamond it is a very floral scent the florals i think are gardenia lilies and narcissus i feel like it's very vintage smelling it's a clean scent vintage smelling great for work i think she mainly wore it to work next scent is by lady gaga it is called fame the bottle is so interesting the juice though the color it looks dangerous dangerous okay this is sweet mix of honey musky apricot and floral notes and it just looks interesting when i first saw it i was like no thank you this was before when i was i was like this is going to stain my clothes and it just looked dangerous i think i was way too young to be wearing sexy perfumes like that at that time so i had no interest in it designed by paul sebastian was a new perfume that i saw in the drugstore i really enjoyed vera wang has really great perfumes as well try those oh is this list too long how could i have this list and not include jessica simpson perfumes you know i own fancy and i did own fancy love this is fancy the other one i had finished but um fancy love is in a white bottle i'll put it up here and it's more clean scent and the only one i have right now is fancy um this one is a more gourmand scent caramel sweet goodness when i was talking about the sarah jessica parker perfumes i did not list stash stash is a very popular perfume by sarah jessica parker it has woody peppery notes woody and peppery notes which is like typical of a cologne um, especially when it's unisex it also has like a clean grapefruit sweet sexy type of dry down that makes it unisex and great for everyday wear when i first tried it i did not like it i think it was the woody notes the the peppery and the woody notes in the perfume didn't sit well with me back then but now you know i have tried many unisex perfumes and i'm getting better with um enjoying woody and peppery scents and as you know it's unisex so i'm typically more into um, sexy feminine perfumes i don't have too many of the unisex perfumes usually my unisex perfumes are either niche perfumes or private blends but designer and celebrity perfumes are more you know very clean um, sexy feminine elegant scents but this one is definitely 
unisex i mean you only need to look at the bottle to know that but it is a really great one if you want to share between yourself and your partner your male partner as well so um or if you have more of a masculine side of you and you want to wear that like at night or maybe you you know edgy vibes so yeah you can wear that there's this justin bieber perfume that i used to own and love it looks like an apple with a purple bottle and that one was really nice it was just clean and citrusy not much sweetness just in a little bit in the dry down but it was just a clean scent it was pretty and that was years ago i didn't repurchase it and there is also between us by one direction when i smelled that it brought me back to the justin bieber perfume so try between us by one direction it's a great female scent elizabeth taylor has really great scents black pearls is a really good one it's almost always sold out but it is very um elegant it is very almost vintage as well so but it's likable yeah you, you know when you spray that you're you smell more trustworthy, I think, more um, grown and wise, I think, because a perfume can do that. Now, there is this perfume by KKW and Chris by Kim Kardashian. I mean, they have a lot of perfumes that are great signature scents for women, you know, clean, elegant, and all those great things. I almost bought a set before, but I didn't, so. Um, because people at that time are complaining that they're not long lasting so at that time I was just like no use my money for something else okay go give that a try I didn't want to end the video without talking about KKW stents you know because I know um, some of you own and love them um, another perfume is Jennifer Aniston by Jennifer Aniston the bottle is so cute Dolly Parton okay she has a scent called scent from above now that's a really nice perfume so when you think of her scent think of fruity and floral vibes in a perfume okay everyday scent it is great i love the bottle it's nice and cute dolly we need more bottles because it's almost scarce you know what i mean i promise we're about to land okay <laughs> i keep saying this is the last perfume but it's not <laughs> what this is but you know i've been saying that for a while now this is pink sugar by aquilina it has many different flankers now um, my sunshine is not here because it was just very floral summer vibes nice but i didn't need it i love these particular ones from the collection love her perfumes they will be staples in my life and in my perfume wardrobe okay you guys have no idea because i'm gonna cut that part out but i've been saying okay this is the last perfume <sighs> ariana grande perfumes okay <laughs> how could i not talk about them <laughs> sweet like candy um cloud if you do not watch my previous videos you would not know that i have these but i do um there are new additions to my perfume collection but they're not strangers to my life if you like sweet girly scents some as signature scents and some as night out date sweet times sexy times scents then go and try ariana grande perfumes okay and i know there's plenty 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 more <laughs> celebrity perfumes we could discuss but i'm gonna leave the rest to you guys to mention in the comment section because I know there's plenty I probably don't know ones that you love and that are staples in many people's collections so let me know help each other out hook each other up you know and we love affordable fragrances that smell like luxury on this channel yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed making it and so I hope you will leave me a comment down below about your thoughts and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.